Hello everyone, welcome back to Channel One. Today we're playing some Galakrond Warlock. Had a look at this list, we think it looks pretty strong. Hopefully it'll blow out all these priests that have emerged since the nerfs. So what I do think you think? My big, my big concern, if I'm honest, is that because oh, you're streaming Fist the game directly to me, I can't your see the list. And ah. I haven't played with it yet. So we played with it a long time ago, like back in the day. Yeah. Um, I, I remember us not being amazing with it, but it was good fun. I'm hoping, well, I remember Zephyrus going back every time. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's definitely a late game pull. But yeah. Nether Breath and Fiendish Rites. Mm, Fiendish Rites oh, is a yeah. turn on Removal. for Galakrond, but. Mm. It's not doing anything else, is it? We're playing another Warlock. It's going to be this deck. This is like the yeah. deck that's emerged since the nerfs. I think, Binit, you probably need a. Um, a dragon here to turn on Nether Breath, try and swing a turn at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So I've been these two, let's see what we get. Also, if the Nether Breath's on, you know you can more aggressively tap without the threat. Okay, uh, well, fair enough. We've got our turn seven place sorted. We just need to make sure that we uh, curve into it perfectly. This is oh, just going to be a draw fest, you realize this oh, is yeah, going to yeah, be yeah, like, yeah. I tap, you tap, we'll tap until Gal crosses. And then... And one of us gets one right. right killed. We should just put in... Uh, yeah, it's tap time. Let's do it. I um, have a question for you. Yes. Since the introduction of about a thousand more demons, yeah. has Galakrond got better or worse? It's a good question, Ooh, right? Because he summons random demons. I think just tap here again. Yeah, I was just doing the numbers and tapping's fine. We can devote it next turn. Yeah, into shield, and then if we don't draw any more invokes, we're still reasonably happy to Galakrond on seven. Yeah, our, um, our, our opponent did draw an Aranasi Broodmother, got no... Do we run that in our list? No. It seems like such a weird card, I don't know. No, we really don't. Understand it. Yeah, I think you just slap in Devoted here, and, uh, Devoted Maniac and pass. Are you about to say Devoted Druid? I was uh, going to say devoted something, and I completely forgot what the second half of the uh, <laughs> card name was. But this seems like a reasonable board for us at the moment. If he's just taking a bit more damage, we can actually get four so damage in here. Too big. I haven't seen the Warlock Prime either. No, Is me it neither. close to Optimus tier? I have I no idea. Just, just shield. There's no reason not to here, and swing at him, everything at him. Yeah, just yeah, let him sure. try and go through stuff. Um, the annoying part for me is there's a lot of these Death Rattle Shuffle in X or Shuffle in Y cards. Yeah. But it doesn't tell you what they are when they when you hover over them, so it's really hard to make decisions. Yes, yeah, so what is counter it? We'll learn it in a minute. Well, yeah, at some we point. will when it dies, but that's the thing, is if you're a new player and you haven't seen it before, or like us, you haven't seen it now, you don't know what the best play is. Whereas you always get to find that information out in other um, in other games. Hmm. Okay, that's a very expensive, uh, a very powerful double damage done. Yeah. So at least that another breath's not going in our face. Is it only minions that take? Double only damage, minions take double or... damage. Fine. They thought about that for a second, didn't they? They did. All right. Um. Not our own, but wait, wait, double, oh, double damage from spells. I think you just throw in all three of your guys and drop your your uh, whirly yep. bird. Yep, so all three into the four six whirly bird, everything off. Oh, you can mortal coil first. Mortal coil is three one. We just we don't need that. It's not going to come out. Yeah. Oh, they so draw it. all minions take. Got... So we have. Extra damage as well from this. Yeah, 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 from spells, though. Unless you were planning on uh, Dark Skies in there, which I don't think it's the right time to do. If nothing else, we have our own to drop whenever we need a big yeah. Dark Skies plus it swing turn. We're going to hold on to it there. Uh, oh, Galakron's a battle cry. How annoying. I'm afraid it is. Um, We can tap still drop the Moag and Nether Breath if we want to. Yeah, that's a good idea. Eat his guy. Looks like well, we're going to have to. 
Yeah, that seems like a decent play to be fair. You leave seven power on the board still. We go up basically back to full life. He has to clear this board and we still get to go into Galakrond if we want to. Yeah. Um, and into Dragon Queen. That's pretty strong. We're still think... a Dragon Blight cultist and a Veiled Worshipper short of Highlander. Okay. Just to keep That's you up, worth to, up noting. to date. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to keep doing that because I have absolutely no idea. Same with hand sizes. If we're playing around with hand size at any point, I can't see it. I'm gonna have oh, to we've got eight in count. hand at the moment. Two on the board. I think... I think it's worth Galakronding anyway, right? Because it fills the board. That's big. Big scary boy. We can uh, do nine damage with this. Ten if we tap this Dark Skies. Yeah, let's tap and Dark Skies it off. I don't really want to Galakron without getting the weapon. Oh, we can kill her down the breaker. That's better. It's up. Yeah, it's better. It's never going to be any better than this. Yeah. And if we could single target remove something, but if we dark skies there, we don't have a follow up. Yeah. There's no single minion just to sit on the board. So mm. even though this is only a three-three, it's still something. Okay. Lovely. You demon. Well, that's irritating. You've got a full hand. We can sacrificial pack this demon. So on a five, five even dread lord with life play, Yeah, you could plague it after as well. Yeah. So you sack pack, sack pack his demon. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Empties our hand. Plague. Then I think we veiled, right? Because we have enough. We have enough in our hand to veil and still play. Hopefully something that invokes. Yeah. Hopefully something that invokes. So we'll go down to seven cards in hand, draw three up to ten. And then we'll have to do something. Don't want to play that. Dragon Blight Cultist, great. is perfection. Perfect, okay. Put that boy down. Um, and now again, he has to spend his turn removing our board, and we can follow up with potentially bin some cards again, Veiled Worshipper, do the same, get that maximum Galakron invoke. What's his invoke at? He is not invoked at all. Okay. Uh, we've invoked we, three times. The wild wildly ahead right now it feels like because i know oh we don't built that, the demon right? deck which seems fun Aaron yeah, and are doing some jobs there the only problem is i can understand sense demons as like a way to keep your hand full if you play a demon deck but you also don't know what you're hitting um I don't want to chuck just... our entire board away, but shield seems like it fully invokes. How many cards have we got in hand? We have 10 cards in hand currently. So here's the question. Do you run the 4-1 and the 5-4 into the 8-8, the 2-1-1s one, into the 2-2, two, two, and then Dragon Queen? Did you say we have eight cards in hand? 10 cards in hand. We have tail, sorry. Sorry, Jesus. okay, so that's, that's not going to work. Um, yeah, I mean, you're probably just going to have the shield up here. I do think, I just still think we wipe the board off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that seems reasonable. No downside to it. It's a little awkward that you can't also follow up with, like, anything else. Like, there's no... There's a Moag in hand, but I'd rather yeah, not give him double power. Yeah, you don't want to help him clear the board, do you? Let no. me just pass. Plus, we're holding a Moag and two Dark Skies with a full hand. Yeah, so, so it's clear there. Yeah, plus we could refill the board next turn. We just got to hope he doesn't clear and refill with something horrific. Then we can't do both. But we could potentially just Dark Skies and um, Galakrond. Like, Which that's a we're fully invoked reason. now, so it's not, it's yes. not bad yeah, but for I us mean, to do. I mean to do it onto an empty move, mm. onto an empty board, because he's unlikely to overfill the board with stats above 10, right? Okay, off the top, that's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but we... I think it's, it's a perfectly reasonable play. Do you want to mortal coil Thalnos first? Um, no, because how do you deal with the other guy? And I think just clear the board. He then has to deal with a full board of demons. Dark Skies it is have, then. Yeah, yeah, we have another Dark Skies in hand. We can always mortal coil one of 
his 1-1s one -ones or one of our 1-1s, one it's going to happen at some point. Worst case, we can spin up this 3 manager or card of Galakron. So what do you think there? Chaos Gazer? What's Pretty this? garbage, G2? and it's given him something to answer our board. This is what I mean. There seem to be a lot of lower end demons. Yeah. Do I hit him in the head for five as well as the other question? Yes, yeah, 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 100%. Um, because he has... Um, well, we have summoned a lot of low end demons that yeah. they put into the game to try and support a demon strategy. But then I think it makes Galakron worse. He and he's so just well. randomly hit the nuts. This is getting Plague okay. of Flames. It is game play. You got 14 gonna... life off that! <laughs> it's, it's doubled and doubled again. Oh dear. Well, it's got real wacky, didn't it? There's no no upside to us doing the same, I don't think. Um, it's plaguey. You can't time. just clear through with Kronk's. Face and this gets rid of that. Kronk's I think, yeah, does... you, could, you can spin up. Uh, Plague of Flames clears his board. Prongs make an 8 8. Seems decent. That's pretty good. We've even got draw back off um, Veiled as well. Not that we need it because we've got Dragon Queen in hand. But... Yeah, so what do we want? 8 8 for sure here. Yeah. yeah. Now I. I think you still swing, don't you? Put him Just back in case down it's to 15. Got... He's used both nether breaths, so I'm not sure what extra life gain he has, so now the damage yeah, is going to exactly. be sticking. Yeah, exactly. So I think, yeah, just put, I think put it into him. It's got to go into him at some point. If he has an ooze, it's just straight five damage save for him, so mm. we may as well take that risk that he's got, he's got more some, life gain somehow. He has some heavily pumped demons in hand. Wow. That's a, that's a big guy. He's a big old board. Hmm. Is it time for the Moak Dark Skies play? I don't know. He's got more big guys. I sort of want to hold it for that. But we can't. We've got another go uh, Dark Skies. Da, 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 da. What about? So awkward. Hmm. These trades are not it's... comfy. No, you don't even have like a great way through and follow up. You might just have to. Oh, here's a way through. Kronk's yeah. into the 6 8. Yeah. Uh, puts it to 2. Play out Moag. Mortal Coil it. It'll kill it. Mm -hmm. And then Nether Breath this one. Okay. Yeah. How's that? Donate you like it? Yes. It's, a, it's something that doesn't leave us with nothing on the board. Um, I'm just... um, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You're going to have to do it. I think the spinning here for sure. Let's go wide. Oh, you may as well drop out the Dragon of Light. Yeah, just fill the board. If he's got a way of filling the board, uh, clearing this whole board, great. If he doesn't, we have a Fiendish Rise in hand. And we've got this guy coming back as an 8 8 taunt. The only consideration I had the yeah. last turn was I don't know whether it would have just been better to straight Dark Skies because we could have mm. held the Nether Breath for his face, but I don't know. What, um,. What's his, his deck like? What are we both looking at in our decks? Uh, we have four cards left. He has six cards left. Okay. And... Uh, we could just draw out the rest and hit Zephyrus. Yeah, it's not the worst play. Um, you've still got... Yeah, I think let's do that, because you could threaten quite a lot here. Hmm. We missed Zephyrus, we, but we've got well, the other right. sacrificial we know pack. Gonna be in there. And the twisting uh, nether. I think you throw down. Do you throw down Devoted Maniac here? Do you need to? Or do you just. It's just spinning up basically the same. I think spinning in Fiendish Rites pumps everything quite substantially. He'll have to answer. Yeah, but you want to hold the Fiendish Rites for if he can't answer your board and then you can just blow it out. I think Devout is... Oh, it doesn't really matter. I actually like both plays. Yeah, play the Devout out. Just fill our board. Again, he needs big board wipe. He could throw his... Um, We're not chucking this 2-2 into anything, are no, we? No. no, I thought not. He's got to go through an 8-8. And his out here has got to be 
Has he nether winged twice? I'm assuming that goes in nether wing. Mortal mm. coil clears the board, but doesn't put him at any significant board advantage here. He's used a sacrificial pact on a one-one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's got. There's his answer. That's that's got to be all of his board wipe, apart from maybe a twisting nether. Yeah. I guess they probably run uh, Zephyrus as well, don't they? Probably. I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, we have eight cards in hand, so Dark Skies wouldn't clear. But yeah, Dark Skies little... plus Netherwing probably would. Oh, yeah, yeah, almost certainly will, wouldn't it? Yeah. In fact, it definitely will. Yeah, that's got to be the play. He doesn't have that many cards in hand to answer. We can take a few uh, hits from Fatigue. It's not the end of the world. Um, yeah. Netherwing it out. Can even spin up. Always spin up if you've got the chance. We still have a sack pack in hand. Which we don't need yet, yeah. He's going to start relying on the fact that we're fatiguing, I think. He's going to keep playing to commit to remove the board, or he's just going to leave up potentially massive damage here. And dragons making dragons. Here we have twisting nethers. And he's dragons making more dragons! Oh dear. Okay. This might be another turn. Yeah, I'm thinking or... that's likely the case. Is there any way that Zephyrus gives us lethal here? Bloodlust is... Uh, Eight. Yeah, because it's plus three, right? Per, yeah. per, per thing. There's three, plus six, 15. nine. Fifteen. Plus fifteen to what we have at the moment. It's lethal, right? Maybe. No, no, it's not plus fifteen. Because it gives us plus three per thing. It gives us plus nine. So it gives us fifteen total. Ah, so we're four short. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Uh, is Fiendish better? Will Zephyrus give us lethal that way? Fiendish Rites fills the board. If we then Zephyrus, we're one mana short of Bloodlust. I think just Twisting Nether, reset the board, hit him, Twisting Nether, then spin up, leaves us two guys on the board. Where are we? There we are, Twisting Nether. We've still got, we've got the Zephyrus lethal in hand now. Yeah. So all we need to do is connect with another two damage, and it will give us Pyro for a two-turn kill. He can't tap anymore either, because it will give us Pyro for the two-turn yeah. kill. So he's got to clear two one ones off. That's annoying. That is annoying. Oh, we could... Sack pack. How does Sack Pack help here? Sack Pack kills this. So you could sack packed fiendish rights. Would we'll put him to eight. Maybe. Maybe you just DQ here. Because he's got to kill his 5 7 before it can have lifesteal. Zephyrus might give us some kind of silence effect as well. You want just straight damage to his face at this point, don't you? Mm. But you don't want to give him the life gain. I think DQ is perfectly reasonable. To flood this board with potentially massive damage. And then if he clears that off, hoping he can... Oh, that's enormous. Yeah, you can do that. Go through, sack pack the other heart. And find that's, a dragon as well. That's baller. Yeah. Don't drop the Azure Explorer yet. So sack pack the other heart. And then swing at him for one. Don't drop the Azure Explorer because it could give us that one extra damage on like Pyro. Yes, true. To kill him. So no extra. Probably twisting Nether now if he has it. Wait, well, yeah. you have to, right? Which is great because it means his Zephyrus is used for removing our board and not for threatening lethal. How much fatigue damage are we taking next turn? Oh, three. Just three damage. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, that's fine. I'm not worried. That's great. So, drop the Azure Explorer first now, because it should see that we have 11 damage with... Ooh. Siraku's uh, going to be bonkers, isn't it? Yeah, because every time you fatigue... You'll have to answer the board. We make again. a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether you just tried the Zephyrus plan now before you drop... Siraku. If he has another Twisting Nether... Then we're at a position where we're one damage short. 
Yeah, just play this Zoraku. Because you can Zoraku and spin up as well. And it's a full board again. I think that's the right. Yeah, I think that's the right play. It's a full board with loads of angles, and we only need one of those one ones. Oh, he's fatiguing now. He's as gonna well. fatigue. He's gonna fatigue. So it's perfect. So we actually don't even need to worry about the plus ones about that. That's not gonna do it. How many more of those you got? Broodmother. So we now make a six six. Yep. You, uh... Zephyrus will silence this taunt, surely. Yeah, it will. Um, Do we pop Zephy now? That's the question. <laughs> I think so. I think, I think if you we could have just... to. Yeah, 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 yeah. It should give us the Black Knight. Because that destroys yes. this guy, which means it's completely off the board. Inner fire. Oh, no, no. We take uh, Celine here, right? Or do we just take Pyroblast and kill him next turn? Um, Because he can't... He'll put us to... Yeah, you're right, it? yeah. Why are we overcomplicating this? Pyroblast wins it, right? Pyro wins it because he's going to take one damage. And we can... Yeah, just let's stick to the plan. Pyroblast, that's stupid not to, right? Do you finish right? We... Uh, I think... Yeah? Why not? Like fill the board, make a big threat. You don't swing with anything here. Oh, you should. You should not fill the board. Oh yeah. When we take damage, we're not making a six-six now. Oh, it's we okay. are heavily, heavily relying on the pyro win here. Heavily relying. If he's got any kind of life game, he might be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, but what? Oh, sack pack. Mm. To be fair, if you sack pack and don't answer the whole of this board, we still smash through with just about everything. Yeah, we'll put him in pyro range, even if he gains five. Possibilities. Yeah, there's there's almost enough one or two ones, or with Zephyrus to just go through that taunt anyway. Yeah. Four, it is a six, shame. eight, and we go through. I mean, he he can't be hitting us here, even though you don't. We he has to so many and have twisting nether, but I think we're so far ahead. And damage that do we know he'll still kill us? I think it'd be a close fatigue race yeah. if nobody did anything. Although we have Alex, yeah, we we can reset if, to fifteen. I wonder if he's going to do that. He must have Alex in hand, right? And that's a perfectly reasonable play right now. You know the pyro has been taken. We didn't take. We didn't play anything else. Yeah, so it's the ten mana win the game card. Yeah. And you know Zephyrus offers it to you. You're on 10 or 11 life with the He's team. roping. He's a roping. Oh dear, we just, that's it. Just end the game. Go ahead and end the game for this poor gentleman. Well played, friend. Well played. Thank you very much. Well played. On to the next. Um, that felt strong. I think we made more mistakes and didn't quite do the deck justice yet, but we're yeah, easing into it. We're learning. It does feel strong, though. The code method than... that's settled into this very yeah. grindy late game. And I know people might think it's a bit strange to have two Highlander payoff cards, but you draw so much of your deck so quickly that it's there's there's almost no downside to it. So I think I that in the old nightmare. meta when it was being played, it really wasn't as good. Uh, you can bin Zephyrus. But that's purely because I don't think the deck had enough answers on its own. And you were constantly looking for Zephyrus to answer the board on yeah. ten or whatever, which was but now, horrible. But now ripping a the Keladan, rest is great. for example, off the top, board answered. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's also you can straight run Twisting Nether in this deck. Uh, Moag, yeah, you keep him. It's an answer. Yeah, you have yeah. two invokes. We know we're playing against Warlock again. Again. We're going to be for a while. It's weird because off stream I've been on the ladder. And it's all priest. I was whinging about how it's all priest. And now it just seems to be all warlock. We're going through that weird part of the meta. Uh, it just passed. No, no, uh, Chad coin tap. I don't, think, I don't think the coin tap's that helpful here because we don't actually know which type of warlock he is, even though mm. we can guess that he's probably like, zoo is being run. I don't think it's an unreasonable time to run it, to be honest. Slap the tap. Yeah, slap the tap. We'll put that on a t-shirt one day. 
Yeesh, double mortal call never feels great in your no. hand. Although if he's he, going to summon one ones, yeah, if he goes he will into summon like a dragon. Ones. Does old honey badger over here? Are you going to end a turn? Or are we going to? Oh yeah, we're just going to watch gonna that. Leave him, leave him wondering what we're doing with our zero mana for a turn. Well, there is an argument to be made if you're planning out your turn several moves ahead. You might as well use your full rope allowance to do so. Yeah, but we also have to entertain people, and I just switch off. Oh yeah, that's every, true. It's demon time turn. again. Cultist. Okay. Yeah, let's just, let's just get with the plan. That guy's not coming in for two turns. If he's going like for the very late game, we, show, we showed that it may have been draw-wise, but the deck felt like it had a lot of board wipe answers. Yeah. So being able to compete with high health minions is not... Whoa! Shadow Council! Someone's built some spice! Okay! And they're going to get pumped next turn again. That's madness! Lovely spicy deck. I like your deck, Honey oh, Badger. I'm already a fan. Can't kill it on off the top. Uh, but you can um, devoted slam it in coin mortal coil. Oh, that's that is the best line. I think it's perfectly reasonable line right now. Just leave him needing to do something with the board other than just say, "Hey, my guys are big. I'm going to drop them." Yeah. Because we've got a Moag Dark Skies plus four damage on board now. So we should be able to. Um... We just have also, to hope that Moag doesn't die really first. A really big brain play mm. when you Moag Dark Skies is to set up everything to be even life first. What is this? <laughs> this is... These are big boys. Big spicy boys. All right. Uh, you can throw all four in and just create another wing. You're gonna have to deal with that eight, nine, or whatever in uh, At some two point. turns time. It's gonna be problematic, but you do have Keladin for it. Yeah, it will just straight he remove is, it. Yeah, he is a single target removal. I'd quite like to draw a sacrificial pact or two as well. Yes, that's true. It's so good right now in the current meta. Um, okay, he's very big. He's very big. Do you want to cut um, down with this? Slap him down to 13. Remember that guy comes alive next turn. Yes. But he is a demon, so we have answers. We can Dark Skies it. What will he be? 4, 5, plus 4, 9? We'll have the cards. Uh, yeah, okay. Do it. Let's just keep the pace. Because he's going to do what? Two, uh, does he do two damage or something? I actually remember. It's not as powerful. Two damage to all enemy minions when it awakens. Fine, so we're going to have a 3 1 that's probably going to get Mortal Coil and a 5 3. He can't attack with his laser eye beam beholder. And that means that if we need to, we could Moag, Moag, Mortal Coil it. Oh, that would be big brain. But just. I'm hoping that would potentially be 4 damage. I would very much like to draw our own. What's with all the dormant stuff? I think he transformed when that, his hand into demons. When like that undormants, it, it does what? When the other guy? Uh, reduce reduce the, cost the cost of a random five. minion by five, and he's got a handful but of minions. Everything else is random, so it doesn't really matter. I think you Plague of Flames it just slap down the cronks. As you did, sir. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh. A little mild panic then I actually felt my heart stop. You're like, he's attacking! No! <laughs> I thought for some reason I had said to attack him. There you go. We do need some more invoke stuff. A little bit. A little bit we do. Um, to be fair, if he keeps like not that great on his whole tempo mm. plan, we can just gallop off some guys it's not the end of the world. I am the iron. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much, because now we can comfortably clear. Comfy clear? Yes, we oh. can. You have no dragon to turn on Kray's Netherwing. But no. you can just... How much is Dark Skies right now? We have eight but, cards, so we can tap to nine. Um, or you can fire it off on Mortal Coil, but yeah, tap, tap's better. It's better play, right? Yeah. Another breath. That's great with Moag. 
Yeah, just clear this nice and easy, nice and cushy. Just pass. Yeah, save everything up. Yeah. He's gonna make something cheap. He's he keeps putting it. big boys on the board, but he keeps. Remember, like they won't used... be that big forever. Yeah. Unless he runs out of his hand. We could do with. Um, watch him a jigger. Not that. <laughs> watch him a jigger. You know what I mean, right? No. Kills a demon. Sack pack. Sacrificial pact. Now I know what you mean. Okay, so the nether wing gives you three, would drop it to eight to two which, to death. Which a, a moag and a nether breast would clear it, and you have exact mana for that. And you could then slam your cronks. Ah, oh, but his guy on the other half is going to. But... Hmm. The guy on the other half gains life, which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. So why don't we just chuck Kronks into this 7-1 and then Dark Skies the board? It has to go through the Torn. Oh, we can't. It's also... Um, we're running out of time. What do we do? What do we do? I reckon you Moag. Kronks can't attack, by the way. Uh, yeah. Dark Skies, I guess? You can nether breath this garbage. You probably want to nether breath the 7-7 seven, seven or something. Oh, it's gone terribly. Well, fine. Fine. Whatever. We've got another... That just didn't feel like good planning there. No, that um, just felt like us staring at the board until we roped out. Which felt a touch unfortunate. It sets the next time, the next play up much better. Another breath on the another wing on this board gives him the five five. The Moag coming down and the Nether Breath kills his five five and all of this board is gone. Yeah. Hundred percent. So agreed. that's Nether Breath first. Uh, nether wing first. Sorry. Yeah, that was that was because of costly misspeak. It, it would be yeah. Then Moag, Nether Breath is guy. And, you know, this feels pretty good for us right now. semi uh, we've got both Alex's in hand. We've got Galakrond in hand. Mortal Call to deal with any 1-1s. One so we're three invoked right now, right? No, only two. It's only two. He's pulled out Galakrond down to four mana, so he must have a nether breath of some kind. Because otherwise he's uh, lost. Sack pack on our guy. He's sack yeah, pack on our guy. Get him to 12. We can sack hmm. pact on one of Wait, his you guys. you can mortal coil his 4-1. That's a good start. At least see what we draw. Ah, Zephyrus. Not online. That's... We're Is missing Veiled Word. Oh, no! Not good online. Hard. Let's tap, tap. See if you find it. Oh, yeah. We do need that. So you're probably just slapping the... Blight, Dragon Blight Coltis and hit him for five because that negates his gain from how many invoked is he? He's got to be max. Right? He's three invoked, we're two invoked. Oh, fine, yeah, drop Dragon Blight, swing at him for five. Just make him do something. He now has to Galakrons, otherwise, he just dies. I don't think you can comfortably sit on this board. We draw any... Oh, it's just Veiled Worshipper we're missing? And Shield of Galakrond. Ah, oh, it's two. It's two things. It's two things we're missing it's right now. That's frustrating. Okay, well, I suppose a Veiled Worshipper would probably pull out the other one anyway. Yeah. That would be a nice C right now, which Jeez. probably sets us... Wow. Tapping to five is brave. It's real brave. How many Nether Breasts has he used? One. I'm assuming he must have two sack packs to be that comfy. He's used one of the sack packs. Oh, humongous, guys. Unfortunately, we have sacrificial pact, but that summons another dude. It's that is quite summon painful. A thing. Oh, so many okay. eggs. Well, it just got real wild, didn't it? It did. What did he hit? Oh, that's Plague fine. of Flames. Oh. Um. Yes, yeah, so we just sacrificial pack this and plague of flames. The board is gone. Oh, we do we even have to. 
That's probably the best line, isn't it? Uh, you can kill so uh, anything. Yeah, it's the best line. Sacrificial pack to seven nine. Do you want to tap first? Because if you pull Veiled, it changes our place. We've pulled another oh. Sacrificial Pact. Fine, I think and the play both doesn't of these change. are demons, so we'll have very little board presence. We can put them down quite low. Oh yeah, so just uh, Sack Pack both the big guys, and then you can throw your 1-1s one in. And we can hold a Plague of Flames as removal once we can Galacross. We might even Galacrons here, you know. Throw all three of your 1-1s one in. And Galacron to rebuild the board. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Now we don't get our weapon, and we don't get twice as many demons, but no, it's all right. Got put something on the board, and a good that? once as well. That a is siege breaker and a mad summoner. That is comfy, comfy spice. All kinds of nice. It um, feels good, have... doesn't it? It does feel good. There's seven cards left, and two of them are doubles. All right. Well, that's. One of the Here downsides. Me. Here comes a Plague of Flames. Garbage. Yep. Fine. Don't know why he didn't just spin and play with them. I really want one of those. Yeah, that would be lovely. So he's gone full RNG. He has rolled the dice here, but it's not so good when you've only got three cards. Twisting Nether. Uh, you can just spin and... What does that other one do? The death rattle on his thing? Puts a 2-1 lost soul into his hand. He gets another 1-1. One, one. Another 2-1, I don't care, another 1 drop. Um, just, yeah, just do it. Spin and Plague of Flames. Just make him keep playing his cards. You've got a Twisting Nether to follow. So even if he, you know, miraculously plays his whole hand. The moment you draw Veiled Worshipper, I think we're good. Oh, I suppose getting... we just made it bigger, but... We're back online! We're back online! We are we back are online. Saying. We're back online every single day, bringing you guys the joy you require during the this freshest lockdown content, period. which I'm sure you liked and subscribed for. Even though we haven't reminded you for the whole, the whole video. I know, I know. Allow me to do it now. There's plenty of ways you can support the channel. You can head over to Twitch. We're on there as well. You can follow us on there. That lets you know. You can subscribe to us if you uh, made of money during this lockdown period and. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to us for free. Voted Mania, there's five cards left. Two of them are doubled. Okay. Is this a... This is isn't... this... This is a twisting nether, because it uh, is a 1410. What about... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's this it's your boy. We don't really want to shuffle... Count three no, and prime into whatever that there. is, I don't want to give him that. Exactly. But when he, he also has three cards left, and we'll start fatiguing before us. So let's just devoted maniac, and let's spin up and eat a one-one. So he... And now, pass the turn, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, we're waiting. We have he... how many cards left in our deck? We have five cards, he has two cards. Of which four are doubles. Yeah, yeah, it's madness, isn't it? Good, uh, that's, I almost want it to be the last four. Oh, oh it's truck. good. It's good, but he doesn't have any draw right now. It's got to die, though. It's a shame, because I actually want the Antean to be awake before. It's shield, it's not Veiled <laughs> Worshipper. Do we just take potentially nine to the dome here? Yes, you don't kill anything. Because he doesn't get the value off Beltrug from his draw. We don't no, kill anything. You don't kill anything. We take you just nine, play shield. 12. Um, I mean, you could slap into that, but I would be tempted to slap into like the f two. No, hit him. What are you taking, this is Awakening, taking 10 damage randomly split across all enemies. And how much has he got on board? What about... One, two, six. He's got 21 Nine, on board. 12. That's quite a lot. I think you roll the dice. Roll the dice. 
Just play the shield and spin up. That's going to give you a lot of stats. You have just put uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 stats on the board. There you go. Oh, it's perfect. That was pretty good. I'll, I'll give you That's that. That was pretty good. a Channel 1 exclusive. Sometimes... Sometimes he could use your big brain. And that's where I pray now that he doesn't just blow us out with like Fiendish Rights, Fiendish Rights. Here's another he's got Fiendish three Rights cards. I made earlier. So he's got nine. What if? I think he literally has to kill us this turn. Was we are good. 23. That's quite. Oh, it's torn. Oh, yeah. He's got a killer down can't Prime. Swing. Can... can't swing with the 14 10, remember? No, that's true. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It's shield again. It's not veiled. <laughs> Unbelievable. Are you so kidding me, Deck? You have to twist another here and spin. Oops. O V S. There is yeah. no other play. We have to put that thing in his deck. What is it that we've just put in his deck? It's uh, eight three. Oh man. Ah. That could be horrible. Spin and then pass. So three cards in the deck. What is <laughs> two availed? And he we may can't not have drawn them. it. He may not have drawn it. He drew it. <laughs> Unbelievable. We actually have to draw a veiled summoner now. Veiled worshipper. Where the... We did. We did. We did it. All right. Um, so this is just a board clear situation, right? Yeah, he's all out of gas, right? And we've he got all, Alex's. He's, he's, uh, yeah, we got DQ's for days. Yeah, yeah. Just um, Zephyrus, Zephyrus Nether. Yeah, Zephyrus Nether. Let's see. I mean, it might give us something else that's blowout good that we haven't thought of, but probably just Nether. Yeah, just Nether here. You're not going to take Tyrion? No. No. Just... No. We don't need another win the game. We just need to let his deck run out and he dies before we do. We have an Alex in our hand. Do we get an extra set Oh, he's gone oh, for he's it. He's going out. He's going out. He's in going out style. in style. Has he got another one? No, that well was it. Well played. Finally See? getting the Zephyrus off. That, that was because of the big brain play. We got to suck in the Antean into our m turn. Sometimes yeah. you got to roll the dice. Roll high. Roll we high. Rolled. did not roll high. We rolled nice and high there. Well, we'd rolled low all those times we weren't drawing the final double out. That's true. How did we win a game where we hadn't turned either of our Highlander cards on till the Go final down. two cards in our deck? Because Zephyrus gives you the perfect card. Yeah, he waits. He waits. He bides his time. Well, this hand is all garbage. This um, is rubbish against a maid, surely. Yeah. I don't know what you're pointing at. I actually can't oh. see your cursor. Plague of, uh, Plague of Flames. Um, I'm uh, looking at keeping both in Bokes, though. Yeah, I don't hate that play. The Phoenix Rice is infinitely worse than the shield, but what else are you going to be doing early on? Yeah, exactly. Need something to do on curve. The shield I was tempted to keep anyway. Um, the Phoenix Rice I don't think we'll end up playing. Hello. Maybe you just play on four, but remember you can ping your guys down. Yeah, they just kills them. Okay. What is this? What is happening here? We are doing well, that's nothing. Lovely. We're doing nothing. But. That's not so bad. It's, it's like, not so what's... bad, is it? Oh, it's a minionless deck. That's quite cool. It is cool. I wanted to build one. I tried, and I looked at my list when I was down. And I went, "Nope, this will never be anyone." And I just immediately deleted it and went away and did something else. <laughs> Smart. Sometimes you have those days where you're like, "Hey, I think I got the perfect." Solution. I can't get that working. Um, and so then you go away and you go and have a shower or whatever, because everybody knows that. Uh, best ideas in the shower people do and, think in the uh, shower that's true see and then you come back and you go hey i've got a plan and that plan is to build quest warlock which i have done <laughs> and i will convince tbc to play it but it's going to be quite hard virtually like remotely how many cards you want had nine so if we tap here it's garbage i think just coin fiendish rights just get something going eh? Yeah. I mean, he just pings one, but I don't really mind too much. Or he may fire off another spell to complete his quest. He wants to complete that, I think. He seems to have had everything so far, because he's discovered six mage minions. It's incredible. 
And he's How casting Encanter's Flow. How is 6-6? Dark skies. What is that secret? What is the potential secrets out there? Counter spell, Flame Ward, Ice Barrow, Mirror Entity, Spellbender, Vaporize. So try to attack him. The two one. It's not Vaporize. Flame Ward. Flame Ward. That's fine. I'm just far off the dark side. Make sure that guy's gone. That's he's gone. He's... Yeah, now he's got to find more ways to make gas. He's got a handful of minions he doesn't want to play. We've got three invokes lined up. It's absolutely fine. You carry on with that. Friend. There's another secret. Not too bust to you. No, I mean, it could just be like mirrors. Probably mirror entity. Just play the shield anyway. Even if he has a copy, whatever. They don't kill each other. But... No. No worries. No worries. I reckon. Do you counter spell? Or Splitting Image. I wonder if Splitting Image could be used right now to use some of the powerful creatures. That... Oh, no, wait, because he's creatureless, right? He's creatureless. How did it get that creature in, it, in Splitting play? Splitting Image isn't also a spell. Well, it's a weird card to pull. Um, you can Ding. slap the 1-1 one, one in. Ding. Yeah, but let's do it slowly because it could fire off Secrets, remember. Another wing. Do it. We're gonna we gotta try. If he ends up countering a mortal core, I think we'll survive. Try it. Works. Okay, I have absolutely no idea what that secret is. Oh, it's gonna be flame ward, ice barrier, or vaporize. So we just need to just keep the board clear. I, I don't know who's got better end game, to be honest. Well, I've he's all spells, us, but... but then spells start to run out of steam, don't they? Well, he's, he's come out of the gates with the spells thing, but I actually don't know. Well, he's not Highlander. No, he's not Highlander. No, he's already played two fonts of powers. Oh, is he? Yeah. Missed that. Um, um, I think it's um, just time to shield um, again. Yeah, you can't get. They can ping you down, slap it in. That's not the worst, though, is it? Or we veiled and draw some stuff out. So many possible. Yeah, I think that seems reasonable. Failing. As long as we're not going to overdraw. Yeah. We've got eight in hand, so we'll go down to seven. So we should have to play. But then we were, we'd have to play something. Yeah. Do it. Yes, Just see what we draw. Yeah. It's all end game. We feel Plague, horrible. Twisting Nether, Dragon Queen. It's all end game. Uh, uh, we have to play something, unfortunately. Do you just play your Moag? And potentially Plague of Flames it. Just to clear the board. I don't hate just it. I don't hate it. Yeah. I mean, it's better than just having our guys die. If you leave the Marg alive, minions take double damage. So he uses spells in his blow our guys away. And then he keeps his guys on board. Double damage from spells, not hero powers. Yeah, but he's a spell stack. Damage, I imagine yeah. he's got some spell removal in there. Going into turn eight. Two Kael'thasses. And a 6-6. Six, six. Well, well, I know what we're doing. Does it rhyme with Schmisting Schmether? Uh, yeah. Or is it Shield plus Plague? It's Shield plus Plague. Because that's the bigger brained way to do that. How do we want Smart. to speak? We can you can tap, tap as well! <gasps> there we go, we're right a fully powered up boy. Fairly Lovely. Shortly. Lovely. And he's used quite, it feels like he's used a lot of gas. I don't know what else is in the deck. I have no idea what this deck is. I've never seen a deck that's a spell, he's, but... We're just answering each time he does something, we've got an answer. So at the moment, he will run out. And we still have answers left to go as well. He's Who blasted us for so six. Can... This guy is he's, he's getting his whale on, isn't he? There's a dragon blight. Oh. Lovely, lovely spice. We want to invoke at least once more before... Galagrunding. We can't really afford to take seven here. No. Yes. I can't see a good way to do any clearing either, aside from the old TN. This seals feels like a little bit of a small board to do that. It does, but what's the alternative? What's the alternative? Because the turn afterwards, he won't be able to do any damage to us. You can hopefully. just uh, play both your invoke guys out. 
and sack pack some stuff. So oh, that's true. It's comfy, comfy away from where we could almost die in a turn. Galakron's on, fully on land, which is great. Um, I mean, you don't bother attacking anything here, I don't think. You just... How many sack packs do we need? You're definitely sack packing A1-1. One, one. one has to come down. You can tap as well. Seems reasonable. Raise another one, seems good. I would sack pack another one. Let's just make sure we survive this turn. No attacking. He's not gonna do tw no, no, no. He's not going to do 25 in a turn. No attacks there means that we could potentially throw those at his face, although it's probably Flame Ward, so we're not going to. Well, if it's Flame Ward, we still chuck the 6 1 at him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe it isn't Flame Ward. This is it. This is feeling like a better board for you. This feels like something our twisting never. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um. Yeah, because you can't even Galakron because the board is too full. Yeah. Probably don't tap anymore. I'm alright not tapping. We've got we've quite... Got we've got bailed in hand. We've got all our gas in hand anyway. We've still and... got two nether breaths for life in the deck. Yeah. And also, we don't want to go too low because he could... He seems to be doing a lot of aggressive moves. Yeah. So he could just have, like, blowout answer and then... He might just have Blowout Answer, but at the moment he's not had Blowout Answer. Well, and not from 18 he's not going to, but when we start getting lower he might. Mm. Oh, okay. Keller down off the top, he answers this. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Do it, and you can veil to me. You can have a lovely full hand, eight power on the board. No doubles left. No doubles left, everything's online. Zephyrus in the hand. They don't even uh want, like both die to flame board. So if you attack with a three three, yeah, you get still the three damage. Five one. Yep. Two secrets up, so we should test for it. So one of them be flame ward. And one of them will probably be either it's probably gonna be counter spell something, isn't it? Yeah, we can just chuck something away. Okay, so one's definitely flame ward. Just Galakrond here, right? Or do you want to not do that onto? You could just DQ. This board is completely. Uh, test first. With what? Test. Well, I don't know, but do you want to give him an eight eight if that's mirror entity? Well, what are our alternatives? Giving him Zephyrus? Our alternatives are you just play Galakrond. Then I play Galakrond. And... Yeah. And some of our guys take some Flame Ward beatings. Uh. Why is this dormant guy? Imprisoned Veil Fiend. Summons it dormant, that's so annoying. Pit Commander's um, great. Well, we it don't have... It is. We've only got a Moag left. So do you attack him here? Just, you know you're going to trigger Flame Ward. Incinerate them. But we're going to get something back out of the deck. So it's not Flame Ward. It's after a minion attacks his Flame Ward. Oh, on the mine then. Um, this is Fatties. Wait. This is Fatties on Fatties. Yeah, I think just pass, just pass. We don't need to overcommit here. We need space on the board just in case... There you go. That's actually a horrible draw for us. I know. I know. Now we should have tapped to fill the board. Ah, oh, Reno! Oh. Alright. Even the real dormant stuff? No. That's oh. interesting. That feels weird. They're supposed to get rid of everything. So, oh, you still have... Haven't tested for minions, so devout maniac you can always cronks after. Depending no, on what. Not mirror entity. Not mirror entity. Do you want to test a counter spell while mortal coiling one of our one ones? Yes, I do. The bigger they are. Ah, that's a new oh, one. We're just nether breath that guy. And then spin up. I think hold the and attack right now. Hold the attack. We could go through something. We need to be getting this board to hit him in the face. Because yeah. you don't care if this gets nether breath. No. Uh, nether breath? Flame warded. I quite fancy Zephyrus Bloodlust to win the game, personally, but that's just me. Well, look, you won't be able to. Because uh, you'll get, we... everything will get blown out by flame. As much as I would love to also do. That's insane. This card. Fill your hand with random mage spells <laughs> at the end of... That you cast yeah. to zero. 
Learn to okay, let's see what he can do. Let's sit back <laughs> and enjoy the ride. Path creation, right. of course. Is he hitting some nuts? No, he's not. He might just have to trigger a flame wall and then Zephyrus clear this ball. You were saying something. Want you to trigger that flame ward now. He does not, not want at all. Alright, away they go. This is Rush. It does have Rush. You can clear one of the two. And ding ding and hit him. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Hit him, we know it's flame water this point. Telegraphing that so hard. Um Bronx doesn't get you out of this. Netherwing doesn't get you out of this. I think it's just gotta be a Zephyrus. A Zephyrus Nether. Gotta be a Zephyrus situation here. Um I just want to roll high off Dragon Queen. But this is a lot of power on board, and we're going to start fatiguing. What about? How big is Dragon Blight if you die? It's burning out. It'll be a poor one. Can you get it to seven? No. Tap. Potentially? Why? Because Zephyrus would have given you Shadow thingy. No, just clear the board the safe way. You I'll tell you afterwards. We're, yes. we're running into remote problems. We don't have it! Yeah, ruin, ruin, ruin! Friend, he gives you the perfect card. Did you think one of them wasn't going to be a board wipe? It would have left your guys alive. Uh, it offered you Shadow Word Ruin, destroy everything with power five or greater. Didn't read the card. No, you panicked. It's the card. It's the remote thing. Um, it is the remote thing. And, and the animation also, time annoyed me. If you could pump up this board... No, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll talk you through after. Um, you now actually don't have a way of clipping this board. I think you just die. Uh, you can Dark Skies Craze Netherwing if you're really lucky. Hmm? No, we're not. Nope. Uh, Kronks, Kronks, Kronks. You can clear everything. Kronks and hose everything. Yeah, hose the board. Uh, where are we? Five damage to other right. minions. I think he's, you've got to just wail on him, I think, at this point. There is a way out. Looks like your own tricks. <laughs> he bounced Thanks. it. No, no, it's off the sapper. It summoned sapper. Ah. When it dies, bounce an enemy thing. Which is actually good, good for you, because you you can now drain him for life and not die necessarily so quickly. Yeah, that's um, handy, actually. My, my plan with Dragon Blight and Zephyrus was it could have given you a Shadow Flame. Yeah. Which destroys everything equal to sacrifice the minion's power. And Dragon Blight would have pumped itself power-wise. Oh, he, uh, he had straight lethal. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's, that's frustrating. I think we threw that. We threw that a little bit, but... Such is the oh, yeah. price of the distance gaming. The comments! So, think of the comments! Oh, they're going to tear us to shreds! Don't worry, don't worry, we're going to leave it there. We're going to think on our mistakes. So when you come and watch us tomorrow, perfect gameplay. Guaranteed. Perfect, perfect. gameplay, same deck. We're going to get out of five because I'm sick of seeing real face. And, um, and you can be happy again. All of you can be happy. Yeah. How do you feel right. about that? Feel good. All right, we'll catch you guys later. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.